It was Christmas Eve back in 1960 and I was waiting in Saturn Trestle when an Evening Express came spluttering in. Oh my dear chap, what's up with you? I asked. None of your goddamn business, that's what, the diesel said angrily. Soon the guard's whistle blew and the diesel noisily rolled out the platform before his engine spluttered loudly and he, and he ground to a halt. Bugger, he remarked. It's attraction motors again, Derek, the, his driver explained. They've gone again. Oh, botheration, that's the fifth time this year. Can I help? I asked. You? No, the diesel stated. I'd rather be scrapped than for you to help me. You probably need a cylinder or two trying to part with this train. The diesel's driver had gone to telephone for help, but when he came back, he had a troubled look on his face. I've telephoned the local yard to see if there's any engines spare, the driver explained. They do, but all the drivers have gone in for Christmas. Looks like none of our passengers will be getting home tonight. I wanted to help, so I asked. Maybe I could help, sir. I've told you no, shouted the diesel angrily. Now go run off to the scrapyard, you pilt. Shut up, Derek. Yes, 46007. That'd be very helpful, thank you. The driver said with a newfound hope in his heart. And with permission granted from the signalman and control, I was soon cobbled up to Derek in his train. It wasn't long before the guard blew his whistle and we were off. <coughs> I made steady progress along the line, making all the stops. Ha ha, I boasted. How weak am I now, Derek? Derek simply groaned through his grills. I soon finished the journey and even though we were late, the platform quickly became swarmed by the passengers, cheering and clapping. Derek softly spoke up. Thank you, uh, Arthur, I replied. Thank you, Arthur. I'm sorry for being rude to you earlier. You've shown to me that, that steam is still useful, even if BR doesn't see it. You really are the Christmas miracle my passengers needed. You didn't have to help me, but you did. Normally, the other steam engines would just look down to me, but you didn't, he apologised. You're welcome, Derek, I replied. So, what happened after that? After the pilot had come to take away the coaches, I shunted Derek into the sheds and he was taken to the crew for repairs a few days later. Do you know if his fate was? Was he preserved like us? Sadly, no. He worked until 2004, and then under the ring number of 31113, but was later scrapped in 2008. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, it is, Emily. Anyways, have you got a train to take? Oh, yes, sorry. See you, Arthur. See you, Emily.